Hey everyone, welcome back to Daughters of Ash. What did I say? Listen, if I say I'm gonna make it back up to where my souls are, I'm gonna make it back up to where my souls are. Here's the thing though. Uh, my plans, I'm recording this episode. Okay, hold on, let's not get cocky here. Cocky. In fact, let's go and pick up, pick up our souls before we do anything else. Unfortunate. Okay, that might have been the unfortunate thing to do because I got now three of these motherfuckers on my ass. Actually, shouldn't be too big of a problem because these fools cannot climb ladders. 19k. Someone, one of them just fell off. Anyways. I'm a little bit pissed today because, not pissed pissed, but my plans for this evening of recording YouTube videos has been derailed a little bit. Originally I was gonna post MK, MKX to be specific. Uh, I played a lot of the game today and I was really turned up and I was annihilating people with Kotal Khan. Melted iron key. Ke? Ke? There's a bonfire. I'm never gonna finish this thought, am I? This game is gonna distract me too much. Opens the gate to the sluice works from Blight Town. Okay. Dreading the horror awakened in the city sewers, the denizens of Blight Town sealed the sluice work doors and cast his key into the molten rivers far below. Whoever retrieved it has no aversion to flame. Quaylag, maybe. We are not gonna rest at this one though. The reason is is because I wanna finish Blight Town. Claw. <laughs> the claw. I mean it almost It almost seems worth it. that's just the corpse. Okay. So finishing my thought. I was super turned up playing MK today. And I was like really ready to get down with some like serious ass blasting with Kotal Khan and by the time I got around to playing the game the servers died both for X and for MK11 I was like this is unbelievable uh, unacceptable as well so yeah my plans on playing MK for today were derailed but do not worry because as soon as them servers get back up, uh, the boy is gonna be on top of his game. Man, Kotal Khan, War God Kotal Khan is absolutely godlike. That character is so sick. Sun God Kotal Khan, actually, every version of MKX Kotal Khan is sick. And. I really kind of don't like what they did with the character for 11, which is kind of a theme for me for 11. Not character wise, you know, because, you know, there were a lot of idiots bitching about MK11 that, oh, the social justice warriors have inf infiltrated NRS because it's too PC and Kotal is not this and Jade is not. Fuck off, like seriously. Uh, that's bullshit. But. Kotal Khan was a sick character. If you think I'm gonna fall for that, you got another thing coming game. Okay, that might be a slight bigger issue. Yeah, so it's not the issue. The issue is gameplay wise. I mean, Kotal Khan had one of the sickest like kind of gameplay styles in MK X one of the most unique and I feel like he really lost that for uh, 11 it's just not not as fun to play him kinda of the thing with all MK characters I mean MK 11 characters that they do not feel complete you know and him as well, he just doesn't feel complete compared to compared to his X variations. 
Speaking of this, I still haven't finished that video that I promised where I'm going to talk about why the variation system works in X and doesn't work in 11. The question is, am I ready to fight Quelleg? The thing is, bosses... I shouldn't say bosses are unchanged because that's not exactly true. I mean, we just fought a completely new boss in episode 3. So it's like, you know... What the fuck? Oh, people said that I should read... Somebody said that I should read the description for the souls I've been picking up. Uh, let's see... What? Used to restore HP. Wait, they do not give you souls anymore? Oh, they give you souls and they have other effects. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's really, really, really good. Boosts attack power. Wait just a damn minute. Are you telling me I get extra attack and 400 souls? Because if so, that is going to be... That's what it's going to be, you know. It's going to be tasty. So, Quelag, Spider, Titties, Fire, you know the... Well, I can't even talk. You know the drill. Spider Lady, but Lady Lady. If this was Twitch, I, my ass would have been banned already, I swear. What up, Chaos Witch Quelag? She she is unchanged, isn't she? Like even her name. Uh oh no 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 no. Never mind. The boy is doing okay damage. Listen. This is the type of boss fight that should be basically second nature and it honestly kinda is holy shit that, <laughs> that counter though man sorry for the people who are pissed about me using this weapon uh -huh. When I see them results, you know. Okay, I'm gonna get blasted. No, I'm not. I'm way too... Listen. You're dealing with a professional. I know this boss inside and out. I've... <laughs> well, <laughs> speaking of, you know. I'm sure people would like to know this boss inside and out. Especially inside without the lower half, you know, getting in the way. I'm talking about sex jokes. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's the thing she does. That's her rare attack. And you are dead. Quelag. That was Quelag. I mean, what else can I say? It was like, man, now that I'm thinking about it, it has been a while since we fought a proper boss because we didn't ever actually get around to the gargoyles because they just didn't spawn. So what the fuck is the deal with these bells? Oh, I can pull this one. I can pull this one, but I don't have the gauntlets. Do Maybe I got buffed now. So what the fuck is this gonna do? Because I wasn't able to pull the one above. Okay, that's it. A little bit ominous. Oh, the lava is not shitty looking. This is... This is why I enjoy playing the remaster and this. That's not part of the mod. It's a part of DS Fix, which is... Uh, a patch that came out very quickly after the PC version that kind of fixed a lot of the issues. Uh, do I want to join? You know, this is an interesting covenant. I like this covenant. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll join this covenant. Yeah, this is... I think this feels like the covenant for me. I don't have the ring. I'm sure the game, the, the game, the ring is still in the game, not the game is still in the ring. What up? Reinf oh yeah, because she's a firekeeper. And hell yeah. I'll join you. Spider lady. We got pyromancy. Speaking of pyromancies, I rescued... What's his name? Speaking of speaking of, yeah. I should mess around with the bottomless box a little bit. Whatever, I shouldn't. Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna pump up Dex. Because I'm a shitty human being. This is gonna be like the this boring build. You know, actually... I'm just thinking, shouldn't I put a couple of, sp I don't know, maybe I should get one more attunement and then we can have some pyromancies, because I feel like otherwise this is going to be just way too boring, uh, just Balder swag sword, yeah that is gonna people are gonna shit on me left and right if I keep using this build so I'm not going to go into the dream the dreaming the demon ruins just yet I think what we're gonna do it what are we gonna do I mean I guess it's still bothering me why I was not able to pull the other bonfire not bonfire bell mouse Get the fuck out of there. So anyways. I was talking about MK11 and MKX I think before. I think that's a... Uh, we've covered that topic. Oh yeah, and that was the time I realized that the, there was probably server issues is when I went on MK11 and shit didn't work there either as well. So I was like, you know what? I'll just play this game. Not that I'm playing this game because I'm like bored of it or anything. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. I'm very much into this game. You guys seem to be liking this mod as well. Uh, I think this has something for everyone. But my main issue is, right now, is the thought of walking all the way back up to what you call it the sewers the depths I forgot what what the fuck it was called in this game or in the context of this mod I really don't wanna that's like yeah you know how it is feels like a chore uh, but what we can do, I think. What actually can we do? Aside from the fact that I just wasted a moss clump. Uh, not on purpose. I guess, but no, I guess we could go back to Sans Fortress. But, again, I'm really wondering what's gonna be at the top there. We really gotta figure out a way to get to the lower undead berg. That, to me, seems like... If I manage to get that unlocked, that will give us a much easier way to... Uh, that whole area. Because I'm assuming we gotta get some sort of item that will allow us to... First of all, I'll have a look in here. Some item that will allow us to ring the other bell, which will... like, unlock Framed and... do all that shit. I'm guessing you still need Framed unlocked to get to Anorlando. Don't think they'll just let you into Anorlando. OK, 
Okay, I think there's less of them here. It looks like there's less of them. I'm so happy. Thank fuck for that. Dogs are still here, but... Listen, I'll take a dozen of these fire dogs over one of these toxic dart motherfuckers. Like, this is, without a doubt, as I said many times, the shittiest enemy in this game. Serrated knife. Oh, it's called something different this time around. The, si the white single-edged short sword is favored is the favorite of lowly thieves and bandits. Yeah. We know the deal with this weapon. You don't have to tell us it's for parrying. Got them parries locked up. Or locked down more like. Oh, hello. It's not a bad enemy pl placement. But I can't believe I could be playing Mortal Kombat X right now. It's on my mind. You know like when you set about doing something, it just gets interrupted. It's just a poison bite ring. That's how I'm feeling right now. Ain't a big thing or anything like that. But still. So we'll go back up. I might be f fucking myself over here because if there is no way to progress and if Sans Fortress is a dead end and we do not get the key to the lower undead burg, I'm really going to have to like bite the bullet and come back through here, which would be... It would be not fun. It would be not fun. I'll just say that much. But still, now that Mr. Poison Dart is gone, I can take a look at what's over here. God, why would you include something like this in this game? In this game of all games. Platforming, you know. If they were real assholes, they would put an enemy here. It's the whip. They did kind of put an enemy here. The whip, as they say. If you think I'm gonna use the whip, I ain't gonna use the whip. <laughs> I'll just I just say that much right now. And this is where the set is. Normally. But it ain't here. And by set, I mean the... Crimson Watcher set, I think it's called. Is it there? There, though. Is that where it is? Because I don't remember this ladder. This part of Bal <coughs> Blight Town. I really cannot talk. This type of part of Blight Town is like basically an unrevisitable location in my book. As in, I've been here once throughout all my playthroughs, and I decided this area is just not. F not for me, this ain't it, Chief. There's absolutely nothing here. Eh. Eh. That's the thing about, you know, shuffling items around. You are going to run into this where areas which normally had purpose now kind of don't have purpose. Although this mod so far has been very good at not having that type of deal of everything still on. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Am I stoned? No, I'm not. Okay, there we go. I think everything looks the same here. I think that's established fact. I don't have the large ember either, which is un problemo because I was struggling with sands in terms of the enemies. And so it's like what the fuck? Unless it's still in the depths. And then I really fucked myself by not going in there uh, when I had the chance. It's all good. This is a new game. 
think of it as a new game. How long have I been going? I've been going for like 20 minutes and it's just mainly consisted of me getting trying to get out of Blight Town. Since I'm here uh, do I want to take the risk of unlocking? Nope, not taking it. I thought about unlocking the elevator with Valley of the Drakes, but then I realized if I die, that is going to be a bullshit climb back to back to the top. And I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Normally, I'm pretty stupid when it comes to stuff like that. Not today, though. What do we say to the God of Death? Not today. God, that show went downhill. That show, man. If you don't know, I'm talking about Game of Thrones. I couldn't really voice my opinions before because, you know, people were still wary of spoilers, especially people who haven't seen it. I feel like we've given everyone enough leeway and I can just shit on Game of Thrones because, man, did they fuck up the last few seasons. I still thought of 5 was pretty terrible with the Sand Snakes. Oh, how the hell did you get out, boy? Why are you... Why are you pissed at me? Why is he pissed at me? He's gonna kill her. He's definitely gonna kill her. Um, Is this a quest line I wanna do? Why is he pissed at me? Like, is it because I left him in his cell? I mean... What the fuck? It's like... Like when somebody just snaps at you and you're just like, what? Oh yeah. I think I'll be pleased if ah. No. Yeah, well, the only question in the game you gotta answer no to. Nice suit. This guy is this is this I still hold out the fact that this is the nicest NPC in this game. By far. Like even Solaire is not as nice as this guy. Uh you know what? I'll take a fireball and also we're going to reinforce this a little bit because why not Goodbye, then. Come back if you find anything new. and we're gonna pop in here and attune them spells for the uninitiated which I don't think any of you are uh, Pyromancy is ridiculously OP in this game. So that's the deal. I'm gonna go up and see and check the bell. Let's see if I can ring it now. This character though. Let's check it. I mean, I'd be doing a disservice if I, I if I didn't check it, because I managed to ring the Quailag one. Maybe, but then again, I didn't increase my, I never did increase my strength, did I? So there's no way that I actually did get buffer. Eh, who knows? Holy shit. Got a Baldur Helm. Thanks, lock on. Okay. That is. Are they all aggroed? Kinda. Okay, let me kill this one right up here. And then we're going to do a. I was going to do a backstab, but then we'll just do a parry. A parry. There's no way they're gonna reach me. I'm getting all like hella shit today. None of it is good, but I'm getting it. 
Oh man, it's the thing is I'm just thinking. Am I gonna attempt Sans again? I guess this is the only thing that's gonna kind of be left, you know. What up boy? I'm back here with stronger arms this time around. If this doesn't work. I'm going to be pissed. No, I'm not. I speak. Not metaphorically, because it's not a metaphor. Gauntlets to... What does this mean? Gauntlets to... Strange. Really strange. Don't tell me. I, like, they wouldn't force you to upgrade strength, would they? I think that would be a dick move. No, because it says gone. The only thing I'm thinking of now is that there must be some specific new item that they added. Like some sort of like bell ringers. I don't know. Oven mittens or something. And that's what you gotta use to... Uh, ring the bell. Man, the progression in this game. It's all sorts of messed up. Because that means no framed. And no framed... Technically doesn't mean no Anorlando. Because what if I don't unlock framed? And we go for Kath or Kath or whatever his name is. It's also an option. Uh, but, eh, I don't know. So here's the deal. I feel like I didn't do much in this episode. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is we will start wrapping it up here. There is one thing I want to do. Yep, I have tight night shards. Do I have this up to plus 5? Yes, I do. But I don't have my short bow up to plus 5. The question is, do I want to stick with the short bow? I think we'll stick with it since I don't know where anything is. And then by the time we get there, it's going to be easy enough to get something else. I really got to... You know what? That's another thing we'll do. Oh, I have the... When did I pick, the, pick up the long bow? Man. Blind as hell. I had the longbow all along, and that's like the superior bow. Nice. This is for all the people who want me to use a bow. Shout out. Don't worry. Alright, so here's the deal. It feels like I've done nothing in this episode. But then again, I did do something. Several things. What an outro. We'll wrap it up here and we'll pick it up next time. I don't know where we'll go. Oh, we can also go into... There is so many options. There's Moonlight Butterfly as well. We'll go do Moonlight Butterfly next time around. That's what's gonna happen, I think. That's what we'll do. And then sends. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know how it goes. We'll pick it up from here in one or two days. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out.